Show of hands, who on here uses the internet? All right, now who on here thinks that the government should be able to censor what you see on the internet? Okay, I personally don't think that the government should be able to censor what you can and cannot see on the internet. And that is why today I'm gonna to talk about the problem that what governments can, the problem that the government has whenever they're censoring the internet. The, how it causes society to act differently, and the solution to help prevent the government from censoring the internet. Um, I am credible for talking about this topic because like all of you, I use the internet almost on a daily basis. And not only that, but I have my First Amendment right to free speech. And this is relevant to all of you because you guys use the internet every single day, and you guys also have your First Amendment right to free speech. Uh, Friedrich Nauman Foundation for Freedom states that 60% of um, internet users live in countries where people have been arrested for what they post on the internet, whether that's for uh, political, social, or religious um, expressions. Um, that just shows how big of a grip that the government has on what you can and cannot see on the internet. Um, I'm not gonna dive into this too much, but private corporations can also censor what you see on the internet. For example, Prague University is a conservative organization that states that um, Google is censoring what they are posting on YouTube. And I don't know if that's true or not, but it's whatever. Uh, why countries should not restrict internet freedom states that the internet is a place to share everyone's opinions and theories to everything in life. It is a place where diversity isn't discrim discriminated against but is instead encouraged, at least in theory. Uh, it also states that one third of global users live in places where there is no f access to free internet. Um, to give two examples, China and North Korea are places, North Korea being a place where internet might not be accessible at all. Um, there is also a huge negative business impact. For example, Facebook is not allowed um, in China and that can have a negative impact on Facebook because that's a huge market base that Facebook can't tap into. Um, and also political reasons, but I'm gonna get into that here in a second. So now we're gonna talk about causes that, uh, causes how government censorship of the internet causes societies to act differently. Um, you can't express your political opinion. So for example, a lot of sites that have to do with LGBTQ, and articles with that um, are being taken down in predominantly Asian countries. And that uh, takes away the ability to talk about those topics and it takes away the ability to talk, to talk about it in a rational or formal way. Um, it also limits people's ability to, to hold the government accountable because if you're not able to express your opinion, then the, cover, the government can like turn into an authoritative government and kind of rule over you because you can't express your opinion. Um, filters are also a big problem when it comes to government censorship of the internet. Um, businesses have to change their names or go around roadblocks. For example, there's a highly respected, um, highly respected news organization in Canada that had to change their name from beavers, previously to beavers, from beavers to whatever they are now, because a filter was filtering them out from being seen in schools and stuff like that. Um, a, according to censorship, a bad idea, the World Conference of International Telecommunications was convened in Dubai in 2012 um, to update the telecommunications treaties, and the US ended up leading a block of around 80 countries who refused to update, or to sign the updated treaties. The US and other countries believe that spam is commercial, commercial advertisements that are unwanted, but to some of these countries, spam is just um, political, political expression on the internet in general. And a US telecommunications advisor stated that he got chills down his spine whenever he heard that. And some solutions to preventing the government from censoring the internet are citizens should have the right to stand up for what they believe in, and people must rise up and express their displeasure for internet censorship. And all of you 
can make a difference by voting for people who are for freedom of the internet and who are for promoting it around the world. And I encourage you guys to do, to do just that. So in conclusion, I have talked about uh, the problem with internet censorship. Uh, I've talked about how it causes societies to act differently and the solution to help prevent governments from censoring the internet. So stand up for free internet because it only benefits you. Thank you. <laughs>